Laurentium. Laurentium is a synthetic chemical element with symbol LR, formerly LW, and atomic number 103. It is named in honor of Ernest Lawrence, inventor of the cyclotron, a device that was used to discover many artificial radioactive elements. A radioactive metal, Laurentium is the 11th transuranic element and is also the final member of the actinide series. Like all elements with atomic number over 100, Laurentium can only be produced in particle accelerators by bombarding lighter elements with charged particles. Twelve isotopes of Laurentium are currently known. The most stable is LR with a half-life of 11 hours, but the shorter-lived LR, half-life 2.7 minutes, is most commonly used in chemistry because it can be produced on a larger scale. Chemistry experiments have confirmed that Laurentium behaves as a heavier homologue to lutetium in the periodic table, and is a trivalent element. It thus could also be classified as the first of the seventh period transition metals, however, its electron configuration is anomalous for its position in the periodic table having an sp configuration instead of the sd configuration of its homolog lutetium. This means that Laurentium may be more volatile than expected for its position in the periodic table and have a volatility comparable to that of lead. In the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, many claims of the synthesis of Laurentium of varying quality were made from laboratories in the Soviet Union and the United States. The priority of the discovery and therefore the naming of the element was disputed between Soviet and American scientists, and while the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, IPAC, initially established Laurentium as the official name for the element and gave the American team credit for the discovery, this was reevaluated in 1997 giving both teams shared credit for the discovery but not changing the element's name. In 1958, scientists at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory claimed the discovery of element 102, now called Nobelium. At the same time, they also attempted to synthesize element 103 by bombarding the same curium target used with nitrogen-14 ions. A follow-up on this experiment was not performed, as the target was destroyed. 18 tracks were noted. With decay energy around and half-life around us, the Berkeley team noted that while the cause could be the production of an isotope of element 103, other possibilities could not be ruled out. out while the data agrees reasonably with that later discovered for LR, alpha decay energy 8.87 mega electron volts, half-life 0.6 s, the evidence obtained in this experiment fell far short of the strength required to conclusively demonstrate the synthesis of element 103. Later, in 1960, the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory attempted to synthesize the element B bombarding CF with B and B. The results of this experiment were not conclusive. The first important work on element 103 was carried out at Berkeley by the nuclear physics team of Albert Giorso, Torbjorn Siekland, Alman Larsch, Robert M. Latimer, and their co-workers on February 14, 1961. The first atoms of Laurentium were reportedly produced by bombarding a 3 mg target consisting of three isotopes of the element Californium with boron-10 and boron-11 nuclei from the heavy ion linear accelerator, Hylic. The Berkeley team reported that the isotope 103 was detected in this manner, and that it decayed by emitting an 8.6 mega electron volts alpha particle with a half-life of. This identification was later corrected to be 103 as later work proved that LR did not have the properties detected, but LR did. This was considered at the time to be convincing proof of the synthesis of element 103, while the mass assignment was less certain and proved to be mistaken, it did not affect the arguments in favor of element 103 having been synthesized. Scientists at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Debna, then in the Soviet Union raised several criticisms, all but one were answered adequately. The exception was that CF was the most common isotope in the target, and in the reactions with B, LR could only have been produced by emitting 4 neutrons, and emitting 3 neutrons was expected to be much less likely than emitting 4 or 5. This would lead to a narrow yield curve, not the broad one reported by the Berkeley team. A possible explanation was that there was a low number of events attributed to element 103. This was an important intermediate step to the unquestioned discovery of element 103. Although the evidence was not completely convincing. The Berkeley team proposed the name Laurentium with symbol LW, after Ernest Orlando Lawrence, inventor of the cyclotron. The IAPAC Commission on Nomenclature of Inorganic Chemistry accepted the name, but changed the symbol to LR. This acceptance of the discovery was later characterized as being hasty by the Dubna team. The first work at Dubna on element 103 came in 1965, 
when they reported to have created 103 in 1965 by bombarding him with O, identifying it indirectly from its granddaughter Fermium 252. The half-life they reported was somewhat too high, possibly due to background events. Later 1967 work on the same reaction identified two decay energy as in the ranges 8.35 to 8.50 mega electron volts and 8.50 to 8.60 mega electron volts, these were assigned to 103 and 103. Despite repeated attempts, they were unable to confirm assignment of an alpha emitter with a half-life of 8 seconds to 103. The Russians proposed the name Rutherfordium for the new element in 1967. This name was later used for element 104. Further experiments in 1969 at Dubna and in 1970 at Berkeley demonstrated an actinide chemistry for the new element, so that by 1970 it was known that element 103 is the last actinide. In 1970, the Dubna group reported the synthesis of 103 with half-life 20s and alpha decay energy 8.38 mega electron volts. However, it was not until 1971 when the nuclear physics team at the University of California at Berkeley successfully performed a whole series of experiments aimed at measuring the nuclear decay properties of the Laurentium isotopes with mass numbers from 255 through 260, that all previous results from Berkeley and Dubna were confirmed, apart from the Barclays group initial erroneous assignment of their first produced isotope to 103 instead of the probably correct 103. All final doubts were finally dispelled in 1976 and 1977 when the energies of X-rays emitted from 103 were measured. In 1971, the IAPAC granted the discovery of Laurentium to the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory, even though they did not have ideal data for the element's existence. However, in 1992, the IAPAC Transfermium Working Group, TWG, officially recognized the nuclear physics teams at Dubna and Berkeley as the co-discoverers of Laurentium, concluding that while the 1961 Berkeley experiments were an important step to Laurentium's discovery, they were not yet completely convincing, and while the 1965, 1968, and 1970 Dubna experiments came very close to the needed level of confidence taken together. Only the 1971 Berkeley experiments, which clarified and confirmed previous observations, finally resulted in complete confidence in the discovery of element 103. Because the name Laurentium had been in use for a long time by this point, it was retained by IAPAC, and in August 1997, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, IAPAC, ratified the name Laurentium and the symbol LR during a meeting in Geneva. Laurentium is the final member of the actinide series and is sometimes considered to be a group 3 element, along with scandium, yttrium, and lutetium, as its filled F shell is expected to make it resemble the 7th period transition metals. In the periodic table, it is located to the right of the actinide nobelium, to the left of the 6th d transition metal rutherfordium, and under the lanthanide lutetium with which it shares many physical and chemical properties. Laurentium is expected to be a solid under normal conditions and assume a hexagonal close packed crystal structure, slash equals 1.58, similar to its lighter congener lutetium, though this is not yet known experimentally. The enthalpy of sublimation of Laurentium is estimated to be 352 kilojoules per mole close to the value of lutetium and strongly suggesting that metallic laurentium is trivalent with the 7s and 6d electrons delocalized, a prediction also supported by a systematic extrapolation of the values of heat of vaporization, bulk modulus, and atomic volume of neighboring elements to laurentium. Specifically, laurentium is expected to be a trivalent, silvery metal, easily oxidized by air, steam, and acids and having an atomic volume similar to that of lutetium on the trivalent metallic radius of 171 pm. It is expected to be a rather heavy metal with a density of around 15.6 to 16.6 grams slash cm. It is also predicted to have a melting point off around 1900 K, 1627 degrees Celsius, not far from the value for lutetium, 1925 K. In 1949, Glenn T. Seaborg who devised the actinide concept that elements 89 to 103 formed an actinide series homologous to the lanthanide series from elements 57 to 71, predicted that element 103, Laurentium, should be its final member and that the LR ion should be about as stable as Lu and aqueous solution. It was not until decades later that element 103 was finally conclusively synthesized and this prediction was experimentally confirmed.
1969 studies on the element showed that laurentium reacted with chlorine to form a product that was most likely the trichloride LRCL. Its volatility was found to be similar to that of the chlorides of curium, fermium, and nobelium and much less than that of rutherfordium chloride. In 1970, chemical studies were performed on 1,500 atoms of the isotope LR, comparing it with divalent, no, ba, ra, trivalent, FM, CF, CM, AM, AC, and tetravalent, TH, PU, elements. It was found that laurentium co-extracted with the trivalent ions, but the short half-life of the LR isotope precluded a confirmation that it eluded ahead of MD in the elution sequence. Laurentium occurs as the trivalent LR ion in aqueous solution and hence its compounds should be similar to those of the other trivalent actinides, for example, laurentium 3 fluoride, LRF, and hydroxide, LRO, should both be insoluble in water. Due to the actinide contraction, the ionic radius of LR should be smaller than that of MD, and it should elute ahead of MD when ammonium alpha hydroxysibutyrate, ammonium alpha Hib, is used as an eluent. Later 1987 experiments on the longer-lived isotope LR confirmed laurentium's trivalency and that it eluted in roughly the same place as erbium, and found that laurentium's ionic radius was larger than would be expected from simple extrapolation from periodic trends. Later 1988 experiments with more laurentium atoms refined this value to incalculated an enthalpy of hydration value of. It was also pointed out that the actinide contraction at the end of the actinide series was larger than the analogous lanthanide contraction, with the exception of the last actinide, laurentium, the cause was speculated to be relativistic effects. It has been speculated that the seven's electrons are relativistically stabilized, so that in reducing conditions, only the 7p or 6d electron would be ionized, leading to the monovalent LR ion. However, all experiments to reduce LR to LR or LR in aqueous solution were unsuccessful, similarly to lutetium. On the basis of this, the standard electrode potential of the E degree LR LR couple was calculated to be less than minus 1.56 V, indicating that the existence of LR ions in aqueous solution was unlikely. The upper limit for the E degree LR LR couple was predicted to be minus 0.44 V, the values for E degree LR LR and E degree LR LR, are predicted to be minus 2.06 V and plus 7.9 V. The stability of the group oxidation state in the 6D transition series decreases as RF greater than dB greater than SG, and laurentium continues the trend with LR being more stable than RF. In the molecule laurentium dihydride, LRH, which is predicted to be bent, the 6D orbital of laurentium is not expected to play a role in the bonding, unlike that of lanthanum dihydride, La. La has La H bond distances of 2.158 A ring, while LRH should have shorter LRH bond distances of 2.042 A ring due to the relativistic contraction and stabilization of the 7s and 7p orbitals involved in the bonding, in contrast to the core like 5F subshell in the mostly uninvolved 6D subshell. In general, molecular LRH and LRH are expected to resemble the corresponding thallium species. Thallium having a 6s6p valence configuration in the gas phase, like laurentium 7s7p, more than the corresponding lanthanide species. The electron configurations of LR and LR are expected to be 7s and 7s respectively, unlike the lanthanides which tend to be 5d as lane however, in species where all three valence electrons of laurentium are ionized to give at least formally the LR cation. Laurentium is expected to behave like a typical actinide in the heavier congener of lutetium, especially because the first three ionization potentials of laurentium are predicted to be similar to those of lutetium. Hence, unlike thallium but like lutetium, laurentium would prefer to form LRH than LRH, and LRCO is expected to be similar to the also unknown LUCO, both metals having a valence configuration of sigma pi in their respective monocarbonyls. The P by D pi bond is expected to be observed in LR clump just as it is for LUCL and more generally all the LNCL, and the complex anion, LRHC me, is expected to be stable just like its lanthanide congeners, with a configuration of 60 for laurentium, this 60 orbital would be its highest occupied molecular orbital. A laurentium atom has 103 electrons, of which 3 can act as valence electrons. In 1970, it was predicted that the ground state electron configuration of Lorentzian was, RN5F67S, ground state term symbol D, 
following the Aufbau principle and conforming to the Z4F5D6S configuration of Lorentzium's lighter homolog lutetium. However, the next year, calculations were published that questioned this prediction, instead expecting an anomalous RN5F7S7P configuration. Though early calculations gave conflicting results, more recent studies and calculations confirm the SP suggestion. 1974 relativistic calculations concluded that the energy difference between the two configurations was small and that it was uncertain which was the ground state. Later 1995 calculations concluded that the SP configuration should be energetically favored, because the spherical S and P orbitals are nearest to the atomic nucleus and thus move quickly enough that their relativistic mass increases significantly. In 1988, a team of scientists led by Eichler calculated that Lorentzium's enthalpy of adsorption on metal sources would differ enough depending on its electron configuration had it would be feasible to carry out experiments to exploit this fact to measure Lorentzium's electron configuration. The SP configuration was expected to be more volatile than the SD configuration, and be more similar to that of the P-block element lead. No evidence for Lorentzium being volatile was obtained and the lower limit for the enthalpy of adsorption of Lorentzium on quartz or platinum was significantly higher than the estimated value for the SP configuration. In 2015, the first ionization energy of Lorentzium was measured, using the isotope LR. The measured value, agreed very well with the relativistic theoretical prediction of 4.96315 eV and also provided a first step into measuring the first ionization energies of the transactinides. This value is the lowest among all the lanthanides and actinides, and supports the SP configuration as the 7p electron is expected to be only weakly bound. This suggests that lutetium and lawrencium behave similarly to TED block elements, and hence being the true heavier congeners of scandium and yttrium, instead of lanthanum and actinium and also that Lorentzium may behave similarly to the alkali metals sodium and potassium in some ways. Given that the SP configuration is correct, then Lorentzium cannot be regarded as a transition metal under the APAC definition, an element whose atom has an incomplete D subshell, or which can give rise to cations with an incomplete D subshell, unlike its lighter homolog lutetium and the group 3 elements, with which lutetium and Lorentzium are sometimes classified. It is nevertheless quite likely that metallic Lorentzium will behave similar to curium, which has an RN5F6D7S configuration, and show the expected RN5F6D7S configuration, which is supported by the earlier volatility experiments. Twelve isotopes of Lorentzium are known, with mass numbers 252 to 262 and 266, all are radioactive. Additionally, one nuclear isomer is known with mass number 253. The longest lived Lorentzium isotope, LR, has a half life of 10 hours and is one of the longest lived super heavy isotopes known to date, suggesting that it is perhaps once sure of the island of stability of super heavy nuclei. However, shorter lived isotopes are usually used in chemical experiments because LR currently can only be produced as a final decay product of even heavier and harder to synthesize elements. It was discovered in 2014 in the decay chain of T'S. The isotope LR, half life 27 seconds, was used in the first chemical studies on Lorentzium. Currently, the slightly longer lived isotope LR, half life 2.7 minutes, is usually used for this purpose. After LR, the longest lived Lorentzium isotopes are LR, 3.6 hours, LR, 44 minutes, LR, 2.7 minutes, LR, 27s, and LR, 22s. All other known Lorentzium isotopes have half-lives under 20 seconds, and the shortest lived of them, LR, has a half-life of only 390 milliseconds. However, the undiscovered isotopes with mass numbers 263 to 265 are expected to have longer half-lives, LR, 5 hours, LR and LR, 10 hours. The half-lives of Lorentzium isotopes mostly increase smoothly from LR to LR, with a dip from LR to LR. While the lightest, LR to LR, and heaviest, LR, Lorentzium isotopes are produced only as alpha decay products of dubnium, Z equals 105, isotopes, the middle isotopes, Lordo LR, can all be produced by bombarding actinide, americium to einsteinium, targets with light ions, from boron to neon. The two most important isotopes, LR and LR, are both in this range. 
LR can be produced by bombarding Californium-249 with 70 mega electron volts boron-11 ions, producing Lorentium-256 and 4 neutrons, while LR can be produced by bombarding Berkelium-249 with oxygen-18, producing Lorentium-260, an alpha particle, and 3 neutrons. Both LR and LR have half-lives too short to allow a complete chemical purification process. Early experiments with LR therefore used rapid solvent extraction, with the chelating agent then oil trifluoroacetone, TTA, dissolved in methyl isobutyl ketone, MIBK, as the organic phase, and with the aqueous phase being buffered acetate solutions. Ions of different charge, plus 2, plus 3, or plus 4 will then extract into the organic phase under different pH ranges, but this method will not separate the trivalent actinide descent thus LR must be identified by its emitted 8.24 mega electron volts alpha particles. More recent methods have allowed rapid selective elution with alpha hip to take place in enough time to separate out the longer-lived isotope LR, which can be removed from the catcher foil with 0.05 m hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.